Hey everyone, this is David Razavi and I have something a little different for this video today. So a couple of friends and I are going to be starting a gaming podcast and in preparing for the first episode, one thing it needs is an opening theme. I made a few different versions and since we'll be talking about video games, I composed them using sounds from early video game consoles. After I play the themes, I'll do an overview of the sounds I used to make them. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. And now here are the potential intro themes for the currently entitled podcast. I made the first two themes using plug chip sounds, which emulates the NES sound chip among other retro consoles. I could have added as many tracks as I wanted, but I decided to stick with the 5 channel limitation of the chip, which is two pulse channels, one triangle, one noise, and a DMC channel that plays back very low quality samples. The first theme is inspired by side-scrolling action games like Contra and Bionic Commando. I have the DMC channel playing snare and bass drum samples with the hi-hat on the noise channel. For this type of song, the triangle is typically used for the bass part. Now for the pulse channels, I have one acting as a rhythm guitar and the other playing the melody. One of the cool things about chiptune music is the way that the instruments harmonize, so in the second half, the pulse 2 channel switches between that short staccato rhythm and harmonizing with the melody. The second theme sounds like it could have been used in shoot 'em ups like 1943 or Gradius. The noise channel is acting like a hi hat and snare, and the triangle is acting as a bass instrument again. One pulse channel is doing descending arpeggios that reinforces the chord progressions and adds movement and energy. And on top of all of that is the melody. There's no room to harmonize with it because the audio chip would be out of channels to use, but the arpeggios fill in the space so it doesn't sound empty, and I added melodic runs in the last part of the Pulse 2 channel so it doesn't sound too static. And now we're moving on to the fourth generation of game consoles with the Super Nintendo, which can use eight audio channels, and games contain their own extremely short instrument samples on the cartridge. 
Using files called sound fonts, you can emulate each game's unique sound. This next theme is inspired by JRPGs of the early 90s. Starting with percussion, I made a simple drum beat with a halftime feel and hi-hats playing a 16th note rhythm. Then I added a bass line with piano and arpeggiated the chords with a harpsichord sound. After that, I wrote a flute melody by improvising over everything else. And the strings are following the chord progression, but the high strings have a sort of counter melody going on. The fourth theme I made is inspired by Link to the Past, and I wanted to try doing a royal fanfare style. It starts out with an ascending harp arpeggio, and after that I played some chords using a voice patch. Then I added low brass following along the voice part. and added the percussion to reinforce the feel I was going for. So far everything is ascending melodically, so I wanted to counter that with the strings, which are descending. The trumpets are playing a pretty standard fanfare style, alternating between the same notes and emphasizing the G note. Now with this next theme, we move to the next console generation with sounds from the Sony PlayStation. This is inspired by an RPG battle theme, since some of my favorite PS1 memories are playing RPGs like Final Fantasy and Legend of Dragoon. This is in 5-4 time, and I started with layering percussion to make sure that everything else matched the intensity. The snare and timpani accent the feel, and the other parts support and fill the sonic space. The bass really was the foundation here, and the tuba was added to counter the motion and create some dissonance with the chromatics at the end of the phrase. And I have strings and trumpets playing an ascending 8th note pattern to drive the energy. And as the phrase repeats, the melody starts with the brass, doubled with the strings. This irregular time signature makes it feel off balance, like the melody is dragging and then pushes into the next measure, while still keeping up the intensity. And this last theme I made is a callback to the Nintendo 64, with sci-fi games like Star Fox 64 and Jet Force Gemini, which had great cinematic scores, and this definitely has that heroic sound to it. First I started out by coming up with the chord progression in the cello, playing a triplet rhythm. On top of that I arpeggiated those chords with the high strings and doubled it with woodwinds. With all of that movement going on, the low brass is making a statement by accenting the chords as the measures change, and it's used sparingly so it doesn't overpower or muddy up the sound. The percussion is similar, and it's mostly used to emphasize what's going on with the brass, while also adding in some embellishments towards the end. The melody has a classic sci-fi style, inspired by the way the theme for Star Trek was constructed. The first part of the melody is played by French horn and clarinet, and then moves to the trumpet where it's harmonized and ends with a triplet rhythm. Alright, so those were the six potential themes that I made for the podcast. I'm not sure which one we're going to choose, but if you have a favorite, let me know in the comments below. And that's going to be it for now, and I'll see you next time.